Last week, three young women from Britain headed off to Istanbul with the goal of joining the so-called Islamic State in Syria. It's a worrying phenomenon. So how should the Western powers combat homegrown extremism? Let's talk to someone on the front lines in that fight. It's Hamza Yousaf. He's a Scottish government minister for Europe and external affairs, and he joins us from the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh. Thank you very much for being there, sir. Pleasure. So th this is a work. Let's talk about these uh, three young women. They were A students uh, and they are believed to have gone off to try and join Islamic State. How does one combat that radicalization in a, in a so let's, let's stick with Britain, in Britain. You're there in Britain. You're trying to stop this happen. Incredibly worrying, uh, as you say. These are people who are educated, they're bright, they come from very good families. Uh, so it's clear that terrorism and extremism, extremism can affect anybody, regardless of their ethnic background, but uh, even their, work, their, their, their class background, and indeed their educational background. Uh, so one thing is not to be complacent and not to make assumptions about where radicalization or extremism can take place. I think the second thing that very much has to be done is involving the Muslim community in the fight against extremism, uh, not seeing them as part of the problem, but actually as part of the solution. Uh, because uh, there's clear that military solutions and where they are necessary, of course, uh, they will get support. But you cannot defeat an idea simply by military means. Uh, to defeat an ideology, to defeat a narrative, uh, the best way you can do that is by having moderate Muslims making that argument. Now, Mr. Youssef, we, we have seen radicalization in, in Britain in some very dangerous uh, forms, and it's mainly come in England and not the other parts of the United Kingdom. Lee Rigby was murdered by two extremists. We had the shoe bomber, and we've got uh, uh, a cleric uh, Chowdhury who spouts hate speech uh, a heck of a lot. Uh, how, uh, how can you combat that uh, in, in Scotland and England in different ways? Yeah, well, the first thing to say is, of course, in Scotland, we're not complacent. Uh, there's no doubt extremism and radicalisation that is also taking place in Scotland. But what I would say is that we've done integration better in Scotland than in other parts of the United Kingdom. There are a number of reasons for that. But the primary reason, I would say, is that the relationship between the authorities and government with the Muslim community is extraordinarily healthy, uh, inclusive, and I would say is a model not just for the rest of the United Kingdom, uh, but Europe uh, and beyond. Uh, and very, very quickly, what, what, I mean, if you were saying to any other government uh, leader who wanted to make that integration really close, like it is in Scotland, um, what would you say in, in about 20 seconds? Choose identity. Allow identities to be multiple. Uh, just as I can be Scottish and I can be Pakistani, I can be Scottish and I can be Muslim. There's no inherent contradiction between the two. Uh, treat communities and appreciate and celebrate the diversity of them. I love it. Thank you very much. Hamza Youssef, Scottish Government Ministry, we appreciate your time.